Mira, let me get one of those right there. Hi, Kiki. You want to go out on a date with me? I'd really like to see you, Nico. I really would. Pick me up in the next hour. Sure, I'll be there soon. Hey, Nico, you're here. Let's find something to do. This car is nice. I hope that top wasn't expensive, Nico. Does your other whore like the new pants? The new shoes make you look like a pimp. My ex-boyfriends love this guy, Nico. Come on! Let's hear it, Liberty City, for Mr. Cat Williams! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You cut that turd. Thank you, Liberty City! What a pleasure to be here at this motherfucking club. You are kicking the shit out of the club on the other side of town. Club bullshit. I'll never play there again. It's like living in a studio apartment again. You ever been in a studio apartment? It's ridiculous. Because it's got everything but nothing. Like, you see the living room. It's right there. There's the kitchen corner right there, set up. It's just so small. You can do everything from the center. It's, you become a spider. You just, oh, wait a minute, hold on. That's my fax machine. Got it. All right, then. Let me open up the refrigerator. Who, who, who left my shower curtain open like that? That is ridiculous. Somebody's at the door. Hello? Hey, come on in. Let's sit on the couch. Well, it's a love seat, but you can sit. That's how that other club was, just that small. I'm enjoying being here in the Liberty City. It's crazy. Got to have a car here, it would seem, because you motherfuckers walk too fast for me. Liberty City. Where the fuck? Are y'all going somewhere? Is there a rave or some shit that I don't know about that everybody's rushing to get to? Three o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, nine, noon, three, motherfuckers. Just... <laughs> If you're not careful, you'll accidentally be walking with them. Don't even have anywhere to go. I was just trying to ask if there was a bean machine somewhere in the local vicinity so you could get you a bean of frappa cappuccino or something. So you just walking like this, like, excuse me, is there a coffee shop around here? I've already passed it. By the time I got done walking, you can't talk to the girls. The girls move too fast. They sure are pretty in Liberty City, though. Pretty girls in Liberty City, but they're moving. Fuck them. You, you gotta, you're like an auctioneer. To, excuse me, man. Hi there, how you? Excuse me, do you have a husband? Hi, I'm new to Liberty. You're gone, gone. It's moving so fucking fast, it's ridiculous. 
So I decided I was gonna get a car, but you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful, because shopping for a car is dangerous. If you got a raggedy car, you go to the lot, these motherfuckers keep trying to trick you. Don't take the test drive, that's all I'm gonna say. Don't take the fucking test drive. Test drive is the trick. It's to show you how much better this shit is than your shit, so you can't even go back to your car again. Here I've been sitting on vinyl with creases on in my back and become accustomed to the raggediness of the seat. These motherfuckers put me in a chair. I didn't even want to drive the car. I wanted to watch television. I was just laying there comfortable. Test driving, test driving. Don't do it, don't do it. Especially if you ain't got good credit because they become two different salespersons. Right when you first walk in, they're the friendliest motherfuckers in the world. Make you feel good about yourself. How are you, sir? Might I offer you some popcorn, some, some, uh, some uh, cheese uh, bits and uh, some coffee? Well, that's an odd combination, but I haven't had popcorn in a while. Don't mind if I do, thank you. Coffee, yes. Yes, I'll have, and you said cheese bits? I don't think I'm even familiar with cheese bits. Of course I have some, and they wine you and dine you, make you feel good about it, and then they go in the back room and check your fucking credit and come out like you're an alien from another land. Just, sir, I just ran your credit score. You think this is a motherfucking game? Huh? Sir, let me just say, if you had $35,000 cash, I couldn't let you put 10% down on a car that costs $9. Do you understand what the fuck? Get the What we can do is we can recommend you to a Liberty City Transit official who can give your motherfucking ass a bus pass till you learn how to properly use credit. Y'all have been great. I've been Cat Williams. Thank you so much, Liberty City. Don't you find that when you're getting close to someone, you just want to be with them the whole time? Or if not, at least know where they are all the time? Uh, not really. This ex of mine, he... Is this another one of your clients? No, this was my professor at law school. He had the gall to accuse me of stalking him. I mean, I was just checking up on him. That's okay, isn't it? For someone to want to know where their boyfriend is? So, I guess things cooled off between you when he made that accusation. Kept things cooled off all right. I sued him for slander. That made him think twice about taking advantage of his students and jumping to ridiculous conclusions. This date could keep going inside your place if uh, you invite me in. How about it? This is really gonna mean something, Nico. Come in. Let's go inside. Oh, Nico. I love you, Nico. Nico, Arlen, you can prosecute me anytime. Yo, Brucey, I'm in the mood to do some racing. Is there one going on? Alpha male, baby! The race is through South Alderney. Yeah, push it to the limit and take it to the top!
Hey man, I feel like winning something. You got any races? You ate them alive last time and you're still hungry? Well, open up, Nikki, because I'm about to feed you another. It's a race around North Alderney. Take them down.
Table for one? We got a beautiful bacala saddle. I'm here for someone. I'm here for Ray. Oh, Ray, why did you say so? Ray's a beautiful man, you know what I mean? Uh, he's in the back. Thanks. Hey, Nikki! Ha <laughs> ha! How you doing, kid? Fine. Ah, <laughs> hey! <laughs> that Mick bastard friend of yours says you're okay. Good. That you're reliable. Yep. But can I trust you? Hmm? Why go through all this? Why stick your neck out? Why do all this work? Because I need the money. And because I can't do anything else. And because I'm good at it. Sure. And because I'm trying to find someone. Okay, maybe we can help. See how we do. So anyways, I got this friend. Only the friend ain't my friend no more because he ain't getting me the Vigios. Okay. Seems this guy does not respect the waste management business. Lives over in a project on Galveston near you. Name is Teddy Benavidez. Do what you gotta do. Somebody gets burnt, so be it. Fine. And you'll pay. Hey, you kid, not pay double. Good. But, you mess up, bad things are gonna happen. You know what apartment Teddy Benavides is in? No sé, I don't know no Teddy's. You sure about that? You want the last thing to come out of your mouth to be a lie? Shit, man. He's up on the top floor, apartment 151K. You have to walk the last few floors. Elevator don't go up there, they're fixing it up.
Yo, T Dog, someone's coming up. Don't know how, but he knows where your apartment is. Your ass is mine now, son! So long! No way I stand for this, bitch! Too slow, my mouth. Uh. You owe Ray Bocino a lot of money. You should have paid. Those putos too old. They're finished, fool. This city don't belong to them no more. I wouldn't pay them shit. Ah, uh, go fuck yourself. Ah! Ah!
Ted is dead. What are you talking about? Hey, who's he? Sorry to hear about your loss. I'll be in touch, Nikki.